This is my first video in the YouTube series. So the first video is the introduction to Yocto. Then we will progressively learn more details about Yocto. The first thing is, what is Yocto? So if we go to the website, here it says. The Yocto project, it is not an embedded Linux distribution. It creates a custom one for you. So it means that it's not a distribution. It makes a distribution through this build system. So what does that mean? Why do we need a build system? If I show you this here, why do we need a build system? We need a build system to configure Linux according to our specifications. The image contains everything that we need and we don't need any extra packages or any extra libraries which keeps the size small. So why do we do that? Why don't we use Ubuntu or something else? Because our embedded system is resource constrained, it doesn't have much RAM or storage space to contain a full-blown system like Ubuntu or even something like Raspberry Pi OS. It does not have that much space. So, how does it work? What is the workflow? For now, we are not going into detail about the workflow. We will see that later but I can show you a simple workflow diagram that you can find on the Yocto website. It contains some configuration, metadata, machine BSP, policies, configuration. It fetches the data from somewhere and then does what it does. There are quite a few steps that you have to execute, so we are not going into detail right now. We'll see this later on. So now let's begin with Yocto. First of all, we need some requirements. We need a host PC and our target board. For the host PC, you should have a minimum of 50 GB of space on your hard drive or SSD and a minimum of 4 GB RAM. Here are the supported host operating systems on which Yocto works. I am using Ubuntu 18.04. This is a long-term support version. And for the target board, I am using BeagleBone Black, not a regular PC. For the target system or target embedded board, it's BeagleBone Black. The main features of BeagleBone Black are It has 512 MB DDR3 RAM, 4 GB of eMMC, which is faster than SD card if you are booting from SD card. And if you are reading from eMMC, then eMMC is faster. It also has an SD card slot, HDMI output, and we also have some GPIOs, UART, SPI, and other peripherals and other communication. Let me show you the general diagram for BeagleBone Black. So here we have the BeagleBone Black, it has 246 pin headers. This on the right side is known as P9, and this is P8. Here you can see it has UARTs, GPIOs, SPIs, I2C, some analog inputs and outputs, PWM, and much more. And if you want to read more about the specs, you can go to beagleboard.org. I will put this in the description. So what do we need first? We need to set up our host PC. My operating system is Ubuntu 18.04. And for the editor, I am using VS Code. So I already have VS Code. If you want to install VS Code, these are the steps, I'll put them in the description. And I'll also give the GitHub repo where you can find this file and you can execute these commands. So I've already installed VS Code through these commands. If you are very new to Linux, I think you already know you've probably worked with some Linux system. You just need to open the terminal and execute the commands. For the terminal, you can just press Ctrl plus Alt plus T on your keyboard and here you will get the terminal. You can execute commands like sudo apt update. I am not doing this right now because I have already installed it. But you can do it. To open the code editor, you can use the GUI or you can also open the terminal and type code. 
and it will open Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code also has a terminal built in. Let me show you, if you go to the bottom and drag this up a little bit, you'll get the terminal here. And here, you can also execute all the commands, just like in the Ubuntu terminal. So that's the first thing. Then we need to install some packages that are required for the Yocto system. You can just copy these commands. This is a single command. It's installing a lot of packages, squashifestools, wgit, git and so on. All these packages are required for Yocto to build the system. You can copy paste from here or go to this website. https colon double forward slash docs dot yoctoproject.org Here under build host packages, you'll find this list. So let's do it first. I'm just copying it and pasting it here. So now it will ask for the password. Let me enter the password. Now it will start installing the packages. I have already installed them. So it might say something like already the newest version. If you are installing for the first time, it will start downloading and installing all the packages. So we've installed all required packages, repo, VS code, and our host system is ready. Our target board is BeagleBone Black. Now it's time to fetch Pokey. What is Pokey? Pokey is the reference distribution of the Yocto project. It's a base set up to build your own Linux distribution. It includes the open embedded build system, some metadata and configuration files. So let's clone the Pokey repository. Go to your home directory, then into a folder like workspace. Let me delete the one I created earlier. Now I'll create a folder with command mkdir yocto tutorial. Now I will go to the folder with the command cd yocto tutorial. Then I'll clone Pokey from the yocto git repository. If you don't specify a branch, you'll get the master branch. But we are using the Kirkstone branch, so we will use git clone minus b Kirkstone git colon slash slash git dot yocto project dot org slash Pokey. Now it's cloning. It may take a while. The download has been completed. Let's go into the Pokey directory with the command cd Pokey. Here you'll see folders like meta, metaskeleton and so on. Now I'll begin the build setup by sourcing the environment. Source OE init build in. Once sourced, you'll see it changes to the build directory. This is our build directory. Here we see the available images like core image minimal, core image full command line, and so on. Now if we ls inside the build folder with command cd conf and ls here, you'll see files like template conf.cfg, local conf, and bblayers conf. We'll talk about these in detail in later videos. For now, I'll open local.conf in VS Code. You'll notice syntax highlighting, that's because I've installed a bitbake extension in VS Code. You can install that too for better readability. Now I want to make some changes in this file. First, I want to change the directory where all the sources and downloads go. So from the build directory, I'll go one step back and create a folder with command mkdir dot dot slash sources. Sources folder has been created. Since we are building for BeagleBone Black, I'll uncomment this line, machine is equal to BeagleBone. Then I'll change the download and estate directories. By default, they point to locations inside the build directory, but I want to store them in the sources folder we created. So I update the paths to absolute paths using top dir. Use something like dl underscore dir is equal to dollar top dir slash dot dot slash sources slash downloads 
state underscore dir is equal to dollar top dir slash dot dot slash sources slashes state cache. We'll talk more about what these variables mean in a future video. Now let's build the image. We can build images like core image minimal, but I'll build core image full command line. Bit bake core image full command line. You can only use the bit bake command inside this build environment. Outside this, it won't work because it was sourced specifically in this terminal. We got a potential misconfiguration error. I think it's because we used relative paths. Bitbake doesn't recognize those well, so I'll update them to absolute paths. Now it's building. This will take around 2 to 3 hours depending on your system speed. Right now it's parsing all the recipes. So after approximately 3 hours, the build is complete. Now let me show you where the build files and images are. Go to temp slash deploy slash images slash beaglebone. Here are all the image files. The important file to flash is this large .wic file. It's also symlinked to another file. You can check using ll command. You'll see core image full command line beaglebone.wic is a symlink to core image full command line beaglebone hash .wic. This is the file we will flash on our beaglebone black. In the next video, I'll show you how to flash this file and boot the beaglebone black.